Hello beautiful beings, welcome back to my channel. If you're not new around here, you know that is not my real accent, but I love a good English accent. Just get used to it and accept me as I am. Thank you so much in advance. If you're new around here, welcome. My name is Carla. I'm a holistic nutritionist, conscious content creator, and you can expect new videos every week on this channel. In today's video, I'll be discussing all things skincare from my favorite products to holy grail products I've been using for years to face masks and even what I use on my body. All of these products are created and made by conscious clean brands. I am a big proponent of non-toxic clean skincare and all products for that matter. The skin is the largest organ in the body and it's so important to be mindful of what we're putting not only in it but also on our skin. It literally acts as a sponge and absorbs everything that we put on it. So if you wouldn't put it in your body, you probably probably should not put it on your body. Simple math, you feel me? So without further ado, let's get into these juicy products that I love and adore. I'm gonna start off with two cleansers that I've been loving and using religiously for the last year, maybe even more honestly. The first one is by the brand Coco Kind. This is the oil to milk cleanser. It is very, very gentle. It doesn't strip the skin. I don't feel like my face is really, really tight and kind of like stiff when I'm done using it, if you know what I mean you know this is just very gentle it's very hydrating and i love it i can attest that it does exactly what it says it does second cleanser that i've been using is by the brand Stelly Cosmetics. It's called Law of Attraction Pore Refining Oil Cleanser. This stuff is truly such a game changer. I didn't understand the concept of oil cleansing until I tried it myself. So for this cleanser, what I do is take a cotton round, I wet it with hot or warm water, and then I'll string it out, make sure all the water's out of the cotton round and apply about one to two pumps of the oil cleanser. I massage that in all around my skin. It literally like makes the blackheads and the whiteheads just come to the surface so effortlessly. I am a big fan of oil cleansing. I think it's one of the most gentle, effective ways to cleanse your skin without being abrasive or harsh. After I've cleansed my face, I will follow up with a toner. I have been loving this one from Coco Kind. It's called the Rose Water Toner. I can't live without this stuff. You'll see a general theme in my skincare is hydration. I think hydration is key in any skincare regimen. It is truly what makes your skin look youthful and plump and refreshed. And then what I'll do is follow up with a Hydrosol. This one is by the brand Evan Healy. It's called the Lavender Facial Tonic. I'll actually alternate between this and the Rose Geranium Hydrosol by the same brand Evan Healy. This is just very calming and gentle. Lavender is known to calm the skin. Hydrosols are different from toners. They actually are extracted from the plant itself. It's just incredible. Clearly this stuff is almost gone. So I use it a lot. But on occasion, depending if my skin feels like it needs more hydration, I will follow up with the Coco Kind Glow Essence with Sea Grape Caviar. I like to use this essence after I've gone in with a face mask or something that will make my skin a bit more drier than usual. This really delivers and makes my skin so, so bright and hydrated. Next up is Serum. Serum is another skincare product that I simply cannot live without. These three are all by Coco Kind. Clearly, I'm obsessed. They, for me, are kind of like the medicine step of my skincare regimen. They're very specific and targeted towards specific skincare concerns. For example, this one is the Ceramide Barrier Serum. It acts as like a skin barrier support. I really use this every single day, whether or not I'm wearing makeup and then if I'm having breakouts or that time of the month is coming around and I'm more susceptible to acne and just general breakouts I will go in with the probiotic acne serum this has 1.5% salicylic acid which is really helpful to cleanse and remove any gunk from your pores and this is just a good solution for clear and balanced skin and my favorite of them all is the vitamin C sea grape caviar 
I feel like vitamin C has been such an integral part in evening out my skin tone and also clearing out hyperpigmentation I had from previous acne scarring. Overall, just so amazing. Love this stuff. These next two serums aren't part of my daily regimen, but I wanted to include them because they're truly incredible brands and I think they deserve a shout out. Comfort Zone is the name of the brand. It's called the Hydra Memory Serum, 24 hour hydration boosting serum. This serum is so good for like colder winter months when your skin just feels a little bit more drier than usual. The last serum is by the brand Pharmacy. It's called the Honeymoon Glow. This is an AHA resurfacing night serum. So I will only use this at night. Every time I use this product, the next morning I wake up with such supple, soft, even texture skin. It is so incredible. Speaking of the brand Comfort Zone, I also really love this Hydra Memory Cream. This is like a very lightweight cream. It's not heavy at all. It actually is water-based. It evaporates pretty quickly. Your skin will absorb it and drink it right up. I like this for more lighter days if I feel like my skin is in a good place and I don't need as much support in that way. I will use this cream and even though it's lightweight, it's still very hydrating. And for the holiest of holy grails of products, if you're not new around here, if you follow me on Instagram, if you know me personally, you know I cannot get enough of Steli Cosmetics After Dark face melt. Like all the other brands I just mentioned, this brand is truly devoted and committed to creating natural, organic skincare products. I am just completely obsessed. I think I've been using this product for three years now, probably a little bit more, honestly. If I have a scar, if I have breakouts, if I have hyperpigmentation, if my skin is dry, if it's not dry, it truly fits any and all skincare concerns and it's just so incredible. So shout out to Cosmetics. Next up is eye creams. This is actually the only eye cream that I use and it's actually more of an oil. It's called Pillow Talk, also by the brand Steli Cosmetics. First of all, this jar has lasted me more than a year. It's like not even halfway full, which is insane. It lasts so, so long. A little bit goes a really long way. I like this because if you have like dark circles or bags under your eyes, it just completely takes it away like magic. Now for facial oils, I like to keep it very simple. I use two facial oils, one of them being rosehip seed oil. This one's by the brand Evan Healy and it's almost gone. I really, really love this. Rosehip oil is ideal for scarred, blemished, and hyperpigmented skin. I used to have really, really bad acne and rosehip oil really helped clear up some of that scarring and hyperpigmentation. I alternate between the rosehip and black seed oil. This is just an overall really wonderful oil. Again, it's helpful for hyperpigmentation, for texture, and really sealing in all of those products that I layer beneath the oil. oil Oils act as a seal, so anything you put on it isn't going to be absorbed by your skin, which is why it's important for it to be the last step. Now that we've gone through all of my skincare products in the order in which I apply them and use them on my face, I want to get into some staple face masks that I love and find really, really helpful. The first one is by the brand Drunk Elephant. It's called the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. It's an instant facial in a bottle. It has 25% AHA and 2% BHA. AHAs and BHAs are very gentle chemical exfoliants. I personally am not a big scrub kind of girl. I don't like anything that's going to make my skin feel irritated because it's really sensitive. I find that AHAs and BHAs are my best option and it's most suitable for my skin type. Every time I use this mask, I literally have no pores. I'm like, pores where, bitch? Not here. The second mask I want to talk about about is by the brand Aztec Secret. It's called Indian Healing Clay. This mask I was introduced to, I believe, in high school. So we're going 10 years strong, baby. This is very, very potent clay. I mix it with apple cider vinegar and sometimes I'll dilute it with a little bit of facial oil like jojoba or black seed. I use this bentonite clay mask about once a week, sometimes bi-weekly, just depending on how congested my skin is. Bentonite clay is just insanely detoxing. It literally acts as a magnet for anything that's sitting underneath your pores and even a few layers beneath your skin. It's just like 
it sucks it right up it's pretty wild and fascinating at the same time could not recommend this enough okay before we get into body care i have a little confession to make i feel like y'all are gonna drag me but i'm just asking you to hear me out for a second okay I personally do not use facial sunscreens. I've gone through phases where I've tried it just to see if there's any difference in my skincare, but I just don't use it. Most facial sunscreens, most, are a scam. And this is why traditional, very common facial sunscreens are actually known to cause cancer. I know that's a big claim, but it's true. A lot of these products actually have carcinogenic ingredients in them, and most people don't even bat an eye or know that that's actually a thing. My own mother is 62 years old, and she has never used sunscreen in her life. If you know her, her skin is top two, and it's not two. I rest my case. I don't want to hear it, and that's all I'm gonna say about that okay so don't come for me i want to give you a couple of options if you're in the market for non-toxic facial sunscreen first up drunk elephant this is called the umbra sheer physical daily defense protection spf 30 sunscreen it has 20 percent zinc oxide which is the ingredient you want to look for if you're going to get facial sunscreen and the second one is by coco kind it's called daily spf this has an spf 32 also has 21 percent zinc oxide i like the this one in particular for two reasons one it doesn't leave a white cast the drunk elephant one leaves a slight white cast if you're melanated this is probably not the best option and two it protects against blue light as well if you're someone who's constantly on your phone in front of a laptop computer TVs any sort of screen that emits that blue light this is really good to protect against that all right last but not least body care these are the ones that I use Used. They're both by the brand Alafia. One of them is pure unrefined shea butter and the other is whipped shea butter and coconut oil. I really, really love shea butter for my body. I tend to have very dry skin on my arms, my knees. This ensures that I'm hydrated at all times. If you want a more in-depth skincare regimen routine where you can see the application of these products in real time, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you're not yet, please make sure to follow me on Instagram. I post way more often on there. Thank you so much for being exactly as you are, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!